All right, hey, Peach Boy 23 here. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at the infographics, typical loadout of a US Marine. Now this is released over two years ago. So I was still in and let's go ahead and see how accurate they are. This video was made possible by Wix. If you are ready to create a website, head over to wix.com slash go slash infographics to try out one of their premium plans right now. In a book called Soldiers Load and the Mobility of a Nation, Colonel S.L.A. Marshall pointed at a troubling issue plaguing U.S. combat troops, overloading of equipment, hampering battlefield performance. While the ideal U.S. infantryman's combat load is not meant to exceed a third of their own body weight. That's bullshit. <laughs> Uh, the most I ever carried on my back was probably like 120 pounds. The recent wars in Afghanistan and Iraq saw American infantry regularly carrying loads that exceeded 120 pounds. But what is all this extra equipment that the modern soldier is being asked to carry into combat? That's what we'll find out in this episode of the Infographic Show, the typical loadout of a U.S. Marine. First, overburdening is a serious concern for the U.S. military, with several studies having been undertaken on the combat effectiveness of troops carrying modern combat loads. Without exception, each study thus far has shown that extreme loads critically lower combat effectiveness, and in Afghanistan, the Taliban was known to refer to American and British soldiers as donkeys because of how overburdened each soldier was. In fact, NATO soldiers found it difficult to close with the enemy because of how much more mobile the insurgent fighter was. I mean, typically, I mean, this looks like they got a main pack right here. Um, I mean, how I wasn't in Afghanistan or Iraq. I deployed mostly to Kuwait and uh, Syria. But whenever we did training or whenever we went out, if we had like a little, which ended up getting a little mission, uh, Apex Tufuhunden, for four days in Syria, we were just like in a little defense, enclosed area. Uh, we only took day packs, so like the smaller backpack. Uh, I don't believe we got the main packs, which I really hated because it got cold as shit at night. And the only thing I had really to some form of like layer to like block me from the cold was probably just my tarp. Didn't bring any warming layers, nothing. So. Was. The U.S. Army Field Manual on Foot Marches dictates that an infantryman should carry a fighting load of no more than 48 pounds and a marching load no greater than 72 pounds. Yet modern, mission-critical equipment regularly pushes... I mean, you gotta think, these guys are carrying, like, everyone's weight's gonna be different because you're gonna have people, some people carrying, like, these heavy-ass, thick-ass radios. You're gonna have people carrying AT-4s, people carrying law rockets, people carrying, um, you got... Uh, 52s carrying fucking th these ladders, the small, which I don't think they have the small anymore, actually. Um, they're carrying breaching tools. You got the machine gunners that are carrying the 240, the tripod, the A-bag. More than men carrying the, uh, the plate, the tube, uh, and the ammo to actually shoot it, which fucking sucks. I had to carry them one time in my pack during the training exercise. It is not fun. It's heavy as shit. And yeah, I mean, all th these weights and these loads are gonna ver uh, range very differently depending on like what your job is. And if you were like an O three eleven like me, you're pretty much much susceptible to like, having to carry ammo for other people. Is combat loads to over a hundred pounds. So just what are U.S. Marines carrying into combat nowadays? A Marine is not a Marine without his weapon, and the American mm -hmm. Marine is equipped with the M four carbine. A 556 millimeter rifle or has a maximum range of 3600 meters with a point target range of 500 meters and an area target range of 600 meters. Area target of 600 meters, huh? I know it's been a little while for me since I've been in, but I swear that number should be 800. I don't know though. The M4 has a muzzle velocity of 2,970 feet per second, giving it tremendous penetration power against body armor and a sustained firing rate I never learned of 12 the firing to rates. per minute with a maximum cyclical firing rate of 700 to I had them down, but I minute. never Together paid too much attention to them. Together with magazine, the M4 weighs in at 7 pounds, 5 ounces. Now, if you're wondering why you're having a... They did try to make us try to memorize a lot of the weights for it. Because a lot of the time, especially if you're going like on helos like us, uh, you're having to really take into account the amount of weight you're going to be carrying so that you're not overburdening whatever helo or plane that you're getting on. A U.S. Marine's M4 is typically equipped with a Pac-4 or similar laser for use with their night vision and an ACOG scope to aid with naked eye. 
it's not really an a car it's just an rco and i believe they're talking about the pec 16. it's got a little flashlight and laser on it uh some some, some people have pec 15s so just tip typically docks it's like just a generation behind targeting always ready for a close quarters fight u.s marines still carry bayonets for use in conjunction with their we never use bayonets except for boot camp the rifle or on their own along with the legendary k-bar knife on him, a Marine carries a variety of gear. Depending on climate, they are equipped with a suitable camouflage uniform made of extremely durable and air-breathing fabrics. Also, depending on the type of enemy they may be facing, their uniform may be adorned with a patch of infrared tape on the left sleeve for aid in identification with night vision equipment. Although, if facing a more modern foe, they also the have tape them on the will Kevlar. likely not be worn as it could also be seen by the enemy. A pair of tactical gloves, knee and elbow pads, and sun sand and dust goggles no one ever wore knee and elbow pads. I had a staff sergeant who said the only time you wear knee pads is when you're sucking dick. So. <laughs> Round out the environmental protection equipment each individual Marine carries. While available for decades, for the first time in history, U.S. Marines are all equipped with body armor. Today's variant is known as the Interceptor Body Armor System and consists of a Kevlar weave vest with two ceramic inserts. The vest itself is rated to stop a 9mm round and the additional ceramic plate inserts are each rated to stop three hits from up to a 762mm round. Altogether, the body armor and plates weigh a minimum of 16.4 pounds, but additional it feels inserts much and heavier modular add-ons, such as leg, groin, and neck protectors, can vastly increase that weight. I never to got those. Heads, the American Marine is equipped with the advanced combat helmet. Capable of stopping a variety of lower-end calibers, the ACH provides protection from small-caliber weapons and shrapnel, and unlike helmets of the past, is smaller and rides higher on a Marine's head to improve their ability to see and hear on the battlefield. Didn't matter which Kevlar you got, that shit was always going all the way around, especially at night when you had your images on and you're walking. You're walking, you don't even have to run. You're just like, images just bouncing up and down. But the moment you start running, that shit's going all over the fucking place. Each ACH comes with a night vision mount for quick and easy deployment of each Marine's personal night vision equipment, the PVS-14 or PVS-7. As a monocular device, the PVS-14 is the PVS preferred over and is phasing out the PVS-7, which covers both eyes. Having one eye adjusted to nighttime conditions allows the Marine a faster reaction time in case they have to remove their night vision, avoiding temp- FYI, a little tip. If you wear glasses like I did, or have contacts but didn't wear them out that day, if you looked at uh, the PVS-14 at night, it actually looks a lot clearer if you take off your glasses. Just heads up. Temporary blindness as eyes slowly adjust to the total dark. Both night vision devices work in conjunction with the Pack 4 laser system to provide for accurate fire Peck. even in pitch black. On the Marine's body armor, each infantryman is typically loaded down with a minimum of 180 additional rounds of ammunition, bringing a total combat load to 210 rounds. 30 rounds always loaded in their rifle. No, 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 no. If you have a regular M4, you're going to have six mags full of 30 right so you're gonna have that 180 when you put the mag in the in your magazine well you, you're not getting an extra mag you only have six unless you're uh unless you had a ir and i mean with that one you can go automatic so and typically you're using it kind of like somewhat of an lmg but not really um because it has the tripod i mean it has uh bipods on it and you're gonna get i believe it was 12 mags you would get with that so you're not going to really be carrying a whole lot i mean you might be able to carry some extra mags if you have your own which typically they don't really like you having your own mags and the rest on ammo pouches worn on the body while most marines wear the standard issue mole load bearing vest some opt for personally bought Molly. equipment that they may find more comfortable individually along with 180 rounds of ammunition american marine again they didn't really like you using your own gear though for the most part they want everyone to look similar will typically carry a minimum of one fragmentation grenade but might carry up to six the m67 fragmentation grenade has a four to five second fuse and can explode steel fragments over a 15 meter area causing 50 percent casualties within a five meter area varying on mission like length it. and type marines will at minimum carry 64 ounces of water in two one quart canteens as well as an additional 100 ounces of water worn on camelbacks the marine carries on their back a Bro, half the guys' camelbacks didn't fucking work. They always leaked. 
bladder of water is typically carried inside the Marine's assault rucksack, along with two meals ready to eat. They say second bladder? We only had one. If you had a second one, you had to buy that. Or MREs. A folding knife or multi-tool, plastic flex cuffs for detaining personnel, a compass, a flashlight, and a basic first aid kit round out gear. Okay, let's get one thing straight. The bladder was issued to us. The IFAC, which is this little med kit, was issued to us. We had a flashlight that was issued to us, but it wasn't this one. It was like a little headlamp. The zip ties, this multi-tool, we would have to buy on our own because typically they, they would come in handy. And you just We didn't get issued it. A compass like this would be issued at the armory, if I remember correctly. And the only people who really got them were squad leaders, lieutenant, staff sergeant. And it wasn't really for everybody. This isn't something everyone's carrying. So. You're typically worn directly on the body. Inside a U.S. Marine's combat ruck, though, you'll find additional equipment to support prolonged combat operations. This can include a 500 milliliter intravenous fluids bag and delivery kit for emergency care, a poncho and bivy sack to keep sleeping bags dry, additional socks and undershirts, a personal hygiene kit, sling rope, and the all-important weapon cleaning kit. Sling rope? The fuck did we have a sling rope? And what... I'm assuming he meant like the... The sh fuck, I can't remember it. It, it, was, it was that one bag, hi, hi, hydration pouch, hi, hydration bag. That one shit that had like the orange inside the bag that was green. So like, like it'll keep your assault pack um, dry. It'll keep your um, uh, main pack dry as well. And there were some for other things. There was like little small ones too, so you could like keep like your little um, extra clothes. And skipper shirts to dry as well. I don't remember what he said this bag was, but we didn't carry a bag like this. We did always have cleaning cleaning tools. We had a hygiene kit. We had a baby sack with the sleeping bag in it. Okay. We never had the stroke, whatever that is. To keep their rifle serviced and well maintained. If that's not enough, however, a U.S. Marine may be deployed with an additional main rucksack for long. Okay. I never knew about long-term extended operations because we never really did that when I was in. But we only had one main pack. We didn't have two. And we carried a lot more stuff than what he said in that first one. So we always carried an extra a lot of everything. Term or extended operations. This rucksack typically carries the Marine sleeping bag, even more undershirts and socks, cold weather gear such as knit caps and polypropylene underwear, additional MREs, and of course, even more ammunition, typically an additional 210 rounds. While... Okay, so I'm assuming the first pack was the day pack, if that's what he's getting at, even though we wouldn't carry that. There was always specific things that we did carry. We carried E-Tool, uh, canteens, we carried an admin pouch typically. Uh, and then there was like a tarp, poncho liner, and MREs and water. But a lot of the stuff he mentioned on this one now, it seemed like this stump, some of the stuff that we were usually carry. So combine those together and then a lot of extra things that we're usually having to carry on top of that. So a lot more stuff than what it's making it seem like here. This rounds out the typical U.S. Marines loadout. Each Marine can be equipped with specialized support equipment. Marines operating in urban environments may find themselves carrying a lockpick, bolt nope. cutters, collapsible riot baton, hooligan tool, i.e. a specialized crowbar, and or a sledgehammer. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's go back there for a sec. Let's go back there for a sec. I never saw anyone carry lockpicks. Bolt cutters were for saltmen. No one carried this. I forgot what he said. What it, what it was a fucking hooligan tool, whatever, or fucking baton. I mean, hooligan tool. Um, I think I saw this once before. I've seen this thing called the Jaws of Life sledgehammer. Yeah, I've seen it. Didn't really see it too much though. And or a sledgehammer. Most Marines will also carry a collapsible entrenching e -tool. tool or E-tool, no matter the mission. That's just a pain in the ass to dig with. Shovel, the E-tool is handy for digging hasty fighting positions, but doubles as a brutally effective hole. You would never dig a fighting hole perfectly with that shit. You're going to run into bedrock really quick. Weapon. Marines may also carry the M18 Claymore mine. Named after the medieval era sword, the Claymore has been in operation Only since ever saw this in SOI. A layer of C4 Never saw it in the fleet. Explosive embedded with 703.2 mm steel pellets. Triggered either by remote or via trip wire, the Claymore explodes in a 60 degree arc, 
and shoots steel pellets in a cone 2 meters high and 50 meters wide, lethal up to 250 meters. Marines may also carry the M141 SMAWD Bunker Defeat Munition, a single-shot bazooka-style weapon designed to destroy hardened bunkers or small buildings. Did that just say small? It looks like an AT4. Could have sworn he said small. Either way, I heard that they're not using that anymore. But it's like an AT4. AT4 would definitely be more common because small is typically only used by assault men. In a pinch, the M141 can be extremely effective against lightly armored vehicles, but would likely be defeated by all but the thinner top turret armor of most modern tanks. The American Marine is equipped for a variety of missions, giving U.S. ground forces unmatched flexibility. Yet with heavy standard loads that don't take into account even more specialized equipment, such as laser target designators or bulky communications equipment, U.S. Marines and soldiers are increasingly finding it more and more difficult to keep pace with less equipped and much more mobile enemies such as the Taliban. While a variety of Department of Defense programs are currently looking at ways to minimize the weight a U.S. infantryman carries into battle, it's likely that the United States will continue to ask its soldiers and Marines to regularly carry over half their body weight into combat for the foreseeable future. One place where All right, gonna go ahead and stop it right there. Seems like the rest of it is just an ad, but damn, there's a lot of, quite a bit of inaccuracy. I, I mean, I don't know where they were getting this information, but I mean, some of it was true, some of it not so much. And as far as ways to try to improve it, uh, honestly, man, you gotta you gotta let Marines carry their own shit, like the own stuff that they're gonna bring. Don't bring excessive amount of gear that you're not gonna be using. And because man, we carried so much. And I understand you you want to be prepared. Uh, better to be prepared and not use it than unprepared and have to use it. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of extra stuff that people would take though. I mean, you got people taking little jet boils so they can cook top ramen. Top ramen was a big thing people ate in the field. You can uh, heat it up in those little heaters and MREs, and you could like pour water and heat it up. Take a couple minutes. It, tastes, it wouldn't taste great, but it would be a lot more edible than those MREs. I mean, we always had like the little shitty ones. People would rat fuck the shit out of the boxes. So, as far as the infographics show take on this, I like that they at least added that like we're that they carry a lot more than what they should be carrying, and that's why you do see a lot of people. Fuck, man. I mean, I've had back pain because of it. I've had knee pain. I have. I mean, I still have issues to this day, but I mean, it's obviously not as bad as others. And just doing that man for a long time people just tell you to suck it up that's it and then when you get injured though yeah things happen so thanks for watching leave a like if you liked it uh leave a dislike if you didn't like it comment let me know what I can change on it uh, i'm assuming you guys know the, the infographic show this is where i got the video from go ahead and like the video too give, give, give them a little like and i will see you on the next reaction